The topic of this video is perfect squares and perfect cubes. Perfect squares are obtaining by taking numbers and multiplying them by themselves. Perfect cubes are obtained by taking numbers and multiplying them by themselves a total of three times. For example, zero times itself exactly two times equals zero. That makes zero a perfect square. One times itself a total of two times equals one. That makes one a perfect square. Two times two equals four. Three times three equals nine. Four times four equals 16. Five times five equals 25. Six times six equals 36. Seven times seven equals 49. Eight times eight equals 64. Nine times nine equals 81. 10 times 10 equals 100. 11 times 11 equals 121. These numbers are all perfect squares. 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121. They are all the result of taking some other number and multiplying it by itself. All right, so now we move on to the perfect cubes. Same idea, except we're, number, we're multiplying a number by itself a total of three times. So 0 times 0 times 0 equals 0. 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. We could even throw some negative numbers into the mix if we would like. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. So, we now have several examples of numbers that are perfect cubes. 0, 1, 8, 27, negative 1, negative 8. Knowing your perfect squares and your perfect cubes comes in handy sometimes when working with algebra.